Out of the latest on the coronavirus here in Connecticut, new numbers show our positivity rate is currently at 13.74%. That's up a bit from yesterday. There are currently 1,446 people in the hospital. That is 31 fewer than yesterday. Faith leaders all across the state finding new ways to encourage people in communities to get vaccinated. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is joining us live right now. She's in New Haven tonight with more on their efforts and what they're doing out in the community. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Mark. Well, some New Haven area pastors are playing videos before their services, and these videos encourage their congregants to get their children vaccinated. My fear is not in the vaccine. My fear is in those who are unwilling to take the vaccine. This is the video congregants at St. Stephen's AME Zion Church in Branford see before the sermon. Reverend Leroy Perry is among a group of area pastors trying to sway their congregants to get children vaccinated using this tool. Because if you don't get it, then, then you may get sick, and then you don't want to get sick, so you got to get the COVID shot. It's a part of the Yale Cultural Ambassador Initiative. Not only have we discovered that many of our young people um, who have not been vaccinated can bring that unvaccinated um, pandemic into their homes. Reverend Perry, along with other faith leaders in the program, pass out test kits every other week, provide N95 masks, and hold vaccine clinics at their houses of worship. It's so important that we trust the science here because we've seen how devastating it can be. The Connecticut Faith Leaders Collaborative is also working across the state to provide COVID resources for communities of color and for low-income communities. The group works with the Department of Public Health. People who are uh, underserved, people who are poor, people of color, are the people that are most impacted. They're on the front lines. They're going door to door to educate people and they're holding clinics in their neighborhoods. It's all about working together as a family, as a community here in Connecticut, and we have more information about all of the resources mentioned in this report. Go on ahead and visit our website or the Channel 3 News app. Live in New Haven, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.